So this week I've got something new happening. I'm going to do a pick a row, a pick a row of cards, one, two, and three. So I've put images up of that on Facebook and here on YouTube in the community feed so that people can do that prior to me doing the reading. So if you Hi and welcome back. I'm just shuffling the card for this new, something new I'm trying out just to make it more interactive and more interesting. You know, if you keep make, doing the same thing over and over again, I think it's quite easy to sort of fall into a rut and I wanted to change it up a bit this week and do something a little bit more different. So I'm going to do three rows of cards and people can pick one, you know, from the top one two and three and I'm going to reveal those cards so I'm just going to put them down on three rows hang on I've got to move <laughs> the camera tripod otherwise I haven't got enough room on my little table Okay, so I've put them down now, so they're three rows and they're all face down. So yeah, I'm going to start with the first row with number one. So if you've chosen that, pay attention and turn over the first card, which is the King of Swords. <laughs> he looks like a bit of a grumpy guy, but the King of Swords is about the intellect. It's an air element card. It's an air influence and it can be yourself or somebody else being a little bit judgmental not being very fair so watch out for people like that on Monday and Tuesday early in the week watch out for people who are a little bit unfair maybe not very um yeah a little bit harsh in their thinking there's not a lot of emotion to this energy it's more kind of quite cut and dried black and white thinking so yeah, keep that in mind. If you've got somebody like that around you, it's probably best not to confront them directly and let them work it through in their own way. If it's in the, showing you as somebody who's feeling like that, make sure you find an outlet. If you're feeling kind of frustrated and a bit grumpy, go for a walk, go for a bike ride, do something to get that energy out of your system so that you can come back into balance again. So on Wednesday and Thursday we have got, so on Wednesday and Thursday we've got the Four of Swords, so we've got a few swords in row one there, but that is a much more peaceful one and it's about just peace and quiet and recharging your batteries and not being too busy, taking some time out for self-care, for self-nurturing. So midweek actually looks quite peaceful and looks like a good time to recharge your batteries a little bit and take a little bit of a breather. So don't work yourself too hard during the midweek if you can avoid it and make sure you spend some time just chilling and relaxing, whether that means reading a book or listening to some music or a podcast or whatever, going for a walk, sitting by a river, make sure you make some time for that and you'll find this um, time is very um, re-energizing. You'll come out of these two days feeling very energetic and alive. So the end of the week, once again, we've got some funny energies here. We've got the five of wands, which can be a little bit of conflict. So row one, there's a little bit of strange energy there around a little bit of conflict, but I feel it can also be worked through Friday, Saturday and Sunday. We've got that five of wands, so it's a good time to work through any disputes or disagreements and things like that and to sit down and talk to whoever else is involved in that with you and to spend some time chatting about it. So watch out for quarrelsome people this week. Everybody who's chosen the first row, there just seem to be some funny energies, some funny influences that are a little bit quarrelsome, hence the bit of a break and a bit of peace in the middle of the week because you would need it with the energies that are around. So, But you don't have to get tangled up in all of that too. You've got a choice. 
you can step back and go, yeah, okay, this is my battle. I don't need to get involved in this. And yeah, over the weekend, it can be also working out through some inner conflicts. Maybe you're feeling a little bit conflicted about something that's going on in your life and you need to talk with somebody to get that straightened out in your own mind so that you can carry on. So it's not huge, it's not an outright fight or battle, it's more of just niggly, funny energies and they need to be sorted out and they need to be talked about and then things will come right back down again. So row one, everybody's chosen the first row, it is a little bit of a strange week, just be aware of it, it doesn't mean it has to be a bad week for you. The reading is really just pointing out what could happen, what the energies are doing this week for you and to be aware of those things and you can actually avoid that. Like if you don't aggravate the King of Swords, he might not even kind of pay you too much attention. <laughs> um, take a break, take some time out for yourself during midweek and towards the weekend, just keep an eye out for disharmonious energies. It's a good time to get that finally sorted and to finally clear the air, so to speak. So that's what I'm really getting, is that this week for everyone who's picked row one, is that it's a time to clear the air. So that if, if there's somebody around you, or even somebody you haven't spoken to for a while, there's a little bit of an energy of from the past. With this, try and connect and try and clear the air and get things back on track again for yourself too. You know, once we've cleared the air, we often can just carry on with our lives without worrying about all of that stuff. So yeah, a really good week for that. So for row two, which we'll see what comes up there. So for the beginning of the week, we've got the full. Now the full Monday, Tuesday is all about new beginnings, fresh ambitions, fresh energy, new beginnings and relationships and love, making a decision to start afresh, you know, you don't have to hold on to the past and also just excitement and energy for what's to come. So row two is starts on quite a positive um, wave of energy, quite a positive influence. And it's about a little bit of innocence with that too. You know, as we get older, we've all had some negative experiences and they can make us a little bit too cautious sometimes, I think. So this is about going with what feels right, having some fun, being optimistic. And that energy can achieve a lot more for you than being really cautious. So yeah, Monday and Tuesday, bright new beginnings. So let's see what Wednesday and Thursday bring. That is a little bit of a different influence. We've got the Five of Pentacles, which can mean, yeah, once again, it's an energy of rest, maybe needing some rest, maybe a little bit run down, maybe things have been a little bit full on. So it's a good time to pay attention and self-nurture yourself so that you can get to the end of the week. And you may also feel like you haven't got a lot of support coming your way, like you're always supporting other people, but they're not really returning the favor. So look at that and remember you don't have to sort out everybody else's life, and especially if they're people who never return the favor, who don't give you any support back. It might be a good time to look at where a more supportive environment is for you right now. So, you know, we all need that. None of us are islands. We all need people who can give us a boost and encourage us and things like that. So it's looking at that, looking at whether you actually get back what you give out. You know, one way friendships and relationships can get a bit bit draining after a while so keep an eye out for that and make sure you set some boundaries with people who take a bit too much so the end of the week so the end of the week we have got the page of wands page of wands is excitement adventure, having some fun, fantastic weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday to get out, go hiking, go exploring, have some fun, 
enjoy yourself um give yourself some new energy some new stimulation go somewhere you've never been before take a friend or your partner if you want to it'll do both of you good um so yeah really exciting week for yeah, just new fresh energy and new beginnings and excitement and a lot of energy towards where you want to go so it's a fantastic weekend to blow up the cobwebs to get out there go for a day trip have some fun go away for the weekend if you can new horizons new places it's really optimal for that sort of thing so even if you stay home you're going to have some new experiences that's the energy that's around so you may discover something that interests you or you'll look at or something different you'll do so it's all about new and fresh and exciting energy on friday saturday and sunday okay so now we've got row three. Oh, hang on where's the car going past now we've got row three and the monday and tuesday card the first card is the ten of pentacles so the Ten of Pentacles, we're looking at abundance, at feeling fulfilled, counting your blessings, being aware of all the goodness in your life. It's like a very abundant energy. So you're going to have some good luck financially and in the material aspects of life. And you're also going to feel very happy and content and peaceful with that. So Monday, Tuesday is a br brilliant time to go for something, go for a new job, go for a raise at your job if you think you do one, things like that, or to if, even if you want to do something like sell something or do some kind of business deal, then Monday, Tuesday is a really good time for you for money coming in. So <laughs> yeah, Monday and Tuesday are wonderful for that. So make the most of it. It's a great time. If you've got stuff you don't want anymore, sell it on Trade Me or something like that. Free up the energy, make some space. It's a good time for that. Um, and yeah, really abundant blessings is the kind of the feeling, the energy I get for Monday and Tuesday for row three. Um, the middle of the week's fantastic too. So we've got the world, and the world is things coming together. It's like different aspects of your life. You're looking at them, your family, your friendships, your hobbies, your interests, your career, where you live. All of that is actually in a very harmonious sense of balance and the people around you too. So it's a really good time once again to count your blessings. Row 3 seems to have huge amounts of that to appreciate what you have. And the more you appreciate what you have, the more you attract to you. So it's a very effective thing to do, plus it makes you feel good. You know, if we're always looking for the next, the big, the next achievement, it's hard to appreciate what you already have. So in relationships, this points to contentment, to feeling happy, to feeling at peace with what you have in your life. So seems to be a very calm time for love and for relationships and if you're single you might meet somebody who ticks all the boxes so to speak you know who's got the characteristics that you've been looking for so a really good time for that to come together too and on Friday and Saturday and Sunday we've got the King of Cups so the King of Cups is all about it can be a male it can be an actual guy in your life if you're male it can be a friend or a mentor for a woman it can be a friend a partner a father um a mentor of somebody you work with but it's pointing to somebody who's very kind and very genuine and quite wise and has quite a lot of experience in life and can give good advice so keep your eyes open over the weekend for somebody like that you might just yeah get some great tips and get some great encouragement from somebody who has that energy, if it's pointing to your own qualities, which quite often the tarot does, it's saying you've reached a stage like that in your life where you're feeling confident, where you're feeling good about where you're at, where you're <laughs> feeling like, yes, I'm getting there. And you're also ready to share 
your encouragement and your experience and your wisdom with others. So you've reached a phase of being able to do that. So very, very good influence, a nice, strong, but calm influence, like strength in a person to me is a calm and a knowing, you know, it's a feeling they have that they know themselves and they're okay with themselves. It is true strength. All that ego stuff of strutting around about how great you are, how wealthy you are, all of that, that's that's not strength. That's actually just kind of a little bit of insecurity and needing to show off. So that's not what this influence, this card is pointing at. It's pointing at a very, yeah, very warm yet sure of themselves personality. So yeah, if you've got somebody like that around you, great, make the most of it. They can give you some good tips. If you haven't, you're quite likely to meet somebody with those qualities over the weekend. And I think you'll certainly appreciate them and have a nice time together. So yeah, get out and meet and mingle with people. You're going to meet some amazing people this weekend. So yeah, that's the three rows. Please put any comments down below to see whether you like this format or not. For me, it's just an experiment, something I wanted to try. I'm not into making those really long videos where people are just bringing up card after card after card like some YouTubers do. Um, it gets too muddled in my opinion, so I like to keep it fairly brief. But let me know what you think of this, if you enjoyed it. Certainly row three has the easiest week this week, but the other two are also very rewarding and there's a lot of stuff working out and working through. So don't look at it as bad. Don't feel bad because you didn't pick row three. It just means you've got a couple of things you can really make some headway with if you look at them and deal with them. So yeah, so this, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing something a bit different. And all my love to you. Please like and subscribe. Um, click the bell icon if you subscribe because otherwise YouTube probably won't let you know that I've posted a video and lots of love to you all have a fantastic week and I'll see you in my next video